Well, it is interesting looking at the words of the uh, former chairman of the Conservative Party, Oliver Dowden, because he doesn't explicitly criticise the Prime Minister, but does explicitly say that things need to change, uh, emphasising the, the very poor results, not just today, but also saying it's the latest in a run of very poor results, referencing, of course, the over 500 council seats that were lost uh, at the local elections. I think one of the most significant points about this resignation is that it emphasises that this is not necessarily all priced in. What a lot of people were thinking about these particular by-elections is that the Conservatives might well lose them, but this was uh, expected that the Conservative Party was uh, expecting to lose these by-elections, not only because of the local circumstances for which they were held, of course, uh, two Conservative MPs resigning uh, in relative forms of disgrace, but also, of course, because of the national circumstances that have led to this point, and indeed the fact that it is mid-term. But I think the scale of the swings, uh, particularly in Tiverton, a 30% swing, quite extraordinary numbers uh, against the Conservative Party, a slightly lower swing in Wakefield, 17% against the Conservative Party. These are numbers that that, that it seems that the, the former chairman of the Tory party simply uh, couldn't stand by. And to that extent of resignation, it's going to be incredibly interesting to see uh, as the morning develops what goes beyond this resignation, how quickly Number 10 responds to this resignation, and to what extent uh, changes will happen within Number 10. Of course, the Prime Minister is uh, thousands of miles away in Rwanda this morning, and the speed at which he will be able to respond to this will be hampered. Uh, on the other hand, MPs are back in constituencies mainly. It doesn't seem like this is going to be a great day of drama in Westminster, but it does set up uh, a potential pitfall for the Prime Minister, who will be hoping that no one follows Oliver Dowden out of the Cabinet, that there are no further ministerial resignations, which is something that at this stage cannot be guaranteed.